Hey everyone, so we're going to go over how to cut tread to size for your swerve wheel. So you'll take the 3D printed tread template that we have linked on the ThriftyBot website and you'll push the one inch wide tread end up until the edge of that. Use a really sharp razor and use the other end of the tread template to cut the tread to size. And you'll see you'll want each end to be relatively flush with that template tool. And then you'll use the same template tool to transfer drill the eight holes for attaching it. We're using a 1364 drill bit here, and that will give you plenty of room and clearance for the number 10 button head bolts. So you'll transfer drill all eight of those holes, go all the way through the tread, and then the result is eight accurate holes Now we'll attach the bevel gear to the three inch swerve wheel. You'll want to line up the holes, make sure the hole pattern lines up properly with it so that you can attach the six 1032 button heads through the wheel. You'll probably want to apply some Loctite to these bolts, but go ahead and attach those. Generally like to attach them uh, in a star pattern so put the first one in and then skip a hole and then put the next one in and then skip another hole and put that third one in. Just so everything kind of tightens evenly. And finish up with the other three. And then I like to go around with an Allen key and just kind of do a final torque of the bolts to make sure everything's really snug and secure on there. So for the attaching the tread you'll want to put the 10 32 button heads in there. I like to use an Allen wrench either a T handle or an L uh, just so you can feel the threads catching the wheel itself. Uh, if you use a electric screwdriver or drill, you may just end up ruining the threads if it's not going in straight. So it's definitely a feel thing. You want to kind of make sure the button head bolts are catching those threads and it should go in fairly easily. If it's not, just back it out and kind of try again. And you'll go around the whole wheel starting on one end and start putting the bolts in as you go. Again, just making sure those threads are going in fairly smoothly. There shouldn't be a lot of resistance while you're doing this. And finish up on the other end. Start to put those last two bolts in. I don't torque these down until I get all eight of them in. Uh, then you'll go around and do kind of a final pass here. So we've got our eight bolts in there and then we're gonna come in with the electric screwdriver and snug up those eight bolts. Make sure that the tread is securely attached to the wheel. All right, we got the tread on the wheel. Looks pretty good, it's tight on there. Now it's ready to put it into the module. It's easiest to install the wheel by removing half of the fork, which we've done here. We're inserting the bearings into the wheel off board and then taking the through spacer there, putting it through the wheel and then we'll add the spacers on each side of the, the wheel. Then we'll take the fork, the other half of it, line it up and use our long through bolt to just kind of retain everything in place. And then on the module itself, you'll install the other half of the fork in the wheel. Uh, you kind of got to do a little wiggling to get it all to snap back in. But in my experience, uh, after you've done it one or two times, it goes in pretty easily. Then start to tighten up your bolts. The way I do this is not actually fully tightening everything yet. You're just getting it to start to be secure. And as you are tightening these bolts down. Um, <clears throat> you'll want to kind of be moving the wheel, make sure that everything spins okay, nothing's getting caught, make sure the bevel gear's in alignment. 
just because the width of this wheel, uh, you do have to install it with the other half of the fork so it all goes on. But it spins pretty smoothly once you get it on there, and then you'll want to go through and do your final uh, torquing of your bolts. And now you've got your one inch wide tread wheel installed. Uh, we hope this helps teams see more even wear and better performance as they go through their season here using their swerves. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks.